Hey everyone, Stephanie here, coffee drinker, book lover, and reviewer of many things. And today I am going to be talking about the random, the random books that I've gotten this weekend that just passed. Um, but first, I got a new, another new cup um instant happiness i got this from the dollar dollar tree um it came in a pack of three and um i am not drinking coffee right now because it is three o'clock almost it's tea i love tea okay um i normally would do a paper pie video because it is the every other Monday I was doing a paper pie video, but I didn't renew my website. So I'm in the process of deciding if I want to renew my pro my website. Not very many people have been checking it out and uh, nobody has really bought anything. And so it's like, is it, is it worth it? Right now we're trying to save money. So I might not, I might not be renewing my subscription to my website until later. So my paper pie videos will probably stop for a while. Um, that being said, I have plenty of other things I can make videos of. And just know that when you click on the link that I provide for you in the description. It helps me out. Um, I'm, well, I was a paper pie consultant right now. That's on hold, but I'm still a Amazon consultant or associate. So when you click on my links and then you buy whatever it is you're clicking on, I do get a small portion of the whatever you buy, you know, the money. I don't know how to explain. I don't know how it works. I just know that that's how it works <laughs> according to what I was reading. Um, so I would appreciate it if you go check out the links in the description. Um, that being said, I know you can get all of this stuff at Dollar Tree or Target or Walmart, but that doesn't help me out. <laughs> okay, so I am going to start with what I got at Dollar Tree. And um this was this was just from this weekend. Okay, I went shopping. No, it was Friday. It was on Friday. Um the school year has started, okay? And so I try to stay with the school year for my now three-year-old. Like we do a little, sort of like a homeschooling type thing. Like every day we do a work page or two. And um, during the summer, we didn't do that at all. I was like, you want your iPad here? 24 hours? Sure, go for it. Um, Oh, it died. You have to play with it on the charger now. Um, no, it wasn't. She didn't have it for 24 hours straight. But you know what I mean. Like, if she wanted it, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to fight you. It's the summer. And it was hot in our house. And I, it's really hot in her room. So I was like, anything to keep her into the, in the living room. You know, that kind of thing. Okay. So first, I'm going to show you what I got at Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. Um, my mother-in-law works for or works is like the manager of a Dollar Tree, but um I didn't go to her Dollar Tree because we were further like we had to go grocery shopping and she wasn't near the grocery store we were using. So um <laughs> And really, I didn't even mean to buy as much as I did at Dollar Tree. And I did really good. I only bought two, three Halloween things. I got a blanket, 
and it had little ghosties on it. It was so cute. And um, my three-year-old has told me, uh, no, mama, that's my blankie. And I said, uh, no, sweetheart, that's my blanket. I bought it for me. And she was like, mm, no, it's little like me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I argue with my three-year-old. And I was like, no, I got you a book. And there was this little, this little board book, teeny tiny little board book. And um, it was about a ghost going trick-or-treating or something like that. Um, I have made it a, a point to buy at least one Halloween book every year. Um, so I will start off with the uh, third Halloween thing that I kind of forgot that I bought. Because I deemed it as educational. Okay. Spooky sticker faces. Okay, okay. So first off, it's a uh, a uh, by Br uh, the Brandon Publishing, and um, I or I think it's yeah Brandon Publishing, and anything that's the Brandon Br Benden Ben Benden. I don't know why I'm putting an R in there. I'm sorry. Um, but anything by them is usually really good. Um, I think I have a few other ones in here. They're really good for toddlers and for like Halloween, like, you know, stickers. And um, so this is sticker. This is one of the spooky sticker Facebooks. We have two other ones from last year that we didn't finish, but she liked them so much that I grabbed a new one. Um, so I'm going to just flip through and show you. So you got this, the stickers and the stickers, you can pull the stickers out. That's what I do. Or you can pull the pages out. Um, and then you just let them put the face on the picture. And this one is a less scary one, I guess, because one of them that we got last year had real, like, Looked like real vampires, not cartoonish. Like they were like real people faces. Um, but these ones are so cool. And then there's more stickers in the back. And the kitty cat. Um, but this is great because right now we're working on our emotions. Um, that is our theme for this month. And I have little faces and emotions and things you can do when you're upset all over the house and so these are really good for making silly faces or happy faces and I think there's some frowns you can turn the, the happy face upside down and make it a sad face and the, some of the eyes look kind of sad and so I'm going to use it as my educational type emotions <laughs> and we're going to do it all through October also um from dollars, the dollar store, I also picked up two color and shape books. And um, that's because this one is for three and up. And this one is for kindergarten. Um, she knows. She knows her shapes and her colors. And now we're just working on, like, drawing them and being like, okay, the rose is red, and so here are different shades of red that you can color the rose. Like, following the instructions, the color instructions. That, that, there you go. That's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to say. And, um, or like, how many circles did you, did you draw? You're supposed to, says, color the things that are green. I'm sorry. Circle the things that are green. See, this is why I, I need these. Um, <laughs> and draw a green lily pad in the water. How many circles did you draw? And um, I was like, yes, this is perfect. So we're going to do one or two of these pages a day. And then at the end, um, there, there's the shapes, the tracing of the shape. Um, at the end, you can put her name on here and cut it out and add it to her uh, little, I finished this um, cr 
Crayola is great. Um, Crayola and I think it's Play-Doh have really good workbooks for um, like the learning workbooks and really cool coloring pages. You wouldn't know. Like, I think it's Play-Doh. Um, it's like, what? Play-Doh does coloring stuff now? Like, um, and here's the other shape, shapes and uh, color, colors and shapes workbook. Um, this one's for kindergarten. And I kind of went, I wanted to get the one that was a little bit older so that it'd be something that we could work on together instead of just, oh, you already know all these. Um, so, uh, you know, learning to complete a circle, it has the little dots here and then it has half a circle that you finish and then you draw your own and then um, help the ant find the cookie is a circle you know it has different activities we we need to work on staying in the lines for the mazes and you know she's she's only three barely um so i thought you know this would be a good after we finish this book this one will be good and uh then i got this one a morning starters you can actually buy a whole pack of these, like for the whatever, whatever grade level you need. I saw them on, like, I saw this on the back and it says collect them all. And I was like, how do I collect them all? So I went and I looked on Amazon and you can get them in a, in a set or you can get them individual. And I was like, well, guess what we're doing? We're going to start getting the whole set. Um, and they're cheap. So. But this one is good for um, pre-K, learning letters, uh, counting, mm, shapes, and more. And um, so each each day you have a letter. And we've I've actually done these like this with her before, but they weren't as um, small printed. There was less on the page. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I had actually had gotten a few of these last year. And she really liked them. So um, but she didn't have the fine motor skills that she does now. But I like these because you can practice writing your name. You have a letter of the day instead of a letter of the week. And then you can talk about the weather, which right now is just sunny. They need to have extreme heat on there for people who live in Texas because we're never getting out of this heat wave. Um, and I got I got this one because it also has a number of a, of the day and it goes past ten, which is nice because she's past ten. She's it's number blocks, I swear. Um. She can count to 21, I know for sure. And she knows what the 22, 23, and 24 looks like. Um, now, actually tapping something and counting it, we have to work on that. But she can count, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way to 21 for sure. Um, so those that is what I got from Dollar Tree. And it's like, Yes. And then I found out because once I started looking for these, I found out you can get the other ones online and packed too. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll make sure whatever I found a link for, I will post it in the description below. Um, we're going to talk about um, the stuff that I grabbed from Target. Uh, yeah. Okay. So remember when I told y'all that I liked the stuff from Binden? These Imagine Ink books are awesome. I got these. You know that little section when you walk into Target? It's like the cheapy, their little cheapy section. Um, has like random crap in it. Not crap. Um random treasures that you might be the only person that enjoys 
Um, <laughs> they have these little magic ink books, and they also have like um, Gabby's Dollhouse and Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse and Frozen. I think I've seen that one and uh, other characters from Disney that I don't remember the names of. Um, so I grabbed. alphabet i grabbed colors and shapes and i grabbed numbers and i thought i grabbed another one but i must have either put it back or my kid's already stolen it and it's somewhere in the house i thought i got one about animals i didn't take my allergy medicine you know i need to like set an alarm take your allergy medicine anyway these are some really cool pre-k through kindergarten books and um so we'll start with the alphabet one um i like this because it comes with the marker and um the markers last for like for a long time like i've had one since last year and it's i know that it's been like a whole day maybe more without the lid on and i just threw it away because it was um, these books are the coolest. I love the magic, okay? I love the magic. Um, you know, they just get to color. They get to color and it shows them. Shows them. Um, so on this side, the ink will only show up on the dotted line so that they can practice that follow the line. And then after that, they can put it over here. Although I don't think, I don't think it shows up like, you know, if they just like scribble, it doesn't show up over here. Like they have to actually do the line. Um, but I like this because you can draw a line. You know, what? which one of these starts with an A, B, C, um, and it's like that for all of them. And then, I think, let's see, yeah, um, one of them that we got before had a page in the back and um, it had all of the letters and so you could practice writing all of them, but this one does not have that. Um, but how cool is this? And then um, I got the num the number one might have to get up my cat's meowing at my kid's door and she's sleeping wait just a minute okay i'm back um had to get him away from her door her door doesn't latch and uh he'll meow at the door and then push it open and i'm like i need her to take a little bit of a nap i know she's three now but if she doesn't take a nap she is really cranky and then i get really cranky all right, so um, this is the inside of the number one, the number um, magic ink book. And um, you, can't, you can see it if the light hits it just right. There's only one snail, and then over here there's two snails. And um, it keeps practice their numbers and tracing them. And... Um, Circle the group of two matching items. And then you go to three and four. And then what comes next? There's um it says color all the squares on the right, then draw a line connecting the numbers. Ooh, that's exciting. So this one, this one sounds fun. It's a matching over here. Once you color the boxes in, it has a certain number of things. Dots. I think they're dots. Um, I guess what it looks like. And then you get to find where they go. So there's matching. And then you move on to actually writing the word. That's nice. And number order so you are supposed to go in order one 
through 12 to get to the matching ball. Um, so this was, this is really great um, to do with your kid. I don't think I would just hand this to her because there is some reading stuff. And yes, yeah, she can she can read some words. She can. It's, I don't know if I'm excited or sad about it, but um, she can read some words. And but I don't think she would be able to read the words and follow the directions yet. So something for us to work on. And this book goes to 12. Hope is a hard number to spell. I'm just saying. And then I got the Colors and Shapes um, Magic Ink Book. I'm sorry. Imagine Ink Book. Um, and this one goes with color. Like, you know, you have a whole page for a color. You got red, orange, purple yellow and then you go to like triangle there's not much in this one but um again we're just right now since she already knows the shapes and she already knows the colors she can even read the word like the colors for the words uh, that did that make sense i don't think it made sense what i meant to say is like if she see you see the word red, she'll go R E D. Oh, that's red. So she could probably do this book on her own. Um, and we're just working on penmanship, small motor skills, you know, tracing the letter, the line, so we can get the feel for writing. Which is an age appropriate thing. I mean, she's, I gave her crayons and markers and colored pencils since she was old enough to sit up and hold them. Um, I got a great big box. It started. She hated the swings and the little bouncy toy. Oops, sorry, the little bouncy toys. She hated being in those. And I was like, you know what? I don't like you in them either. <laughs> And one day, she's always been a climber, okay? And so I was like, those are out. And they went out real fast. And, I mean, we, we missed out on the whole crib thing once she started climbing. She figured out how to climb out of her crib before she could walk, okay? Um, so, We got rid of all that stuff real fast. And then um, I just got, I got a something after Christmas time or something. I got a great big box of something. And it was like, when I say it was a big box, I mean like it was probably, I could probably fit in it. And so I was trying to clean up the kitchen and I just threw some crayons in there that were, you know, non-toxic and then I stuck her in there and I was like color away and she liked it so much that I was like hmm. and so I got some coloring pages and I put them up and then I set up this little I made it an education nook for a kid that didn't know them yet didn't know anything so I had her name for her to color on and then I would put up a letter and that letter stayed in there forever. Okay. Like it was in there for a long time. And then there would be a coloring page and then something to do with the letter A or B or whatever. And um, just put a little all over the sides. And if she didn't want to color on those, she could color on the bottom of the box. But I would put her in there and I would go through you know I would point to each picture or page and I would tell her what was on it and she would be content for like a while and then um I made it so she could climb in and out of it I cut one side of the box so that it was like a little room that she went into not like the top was cut off too so she would just go and she would color whenever she wanted to and 
Anytime she tried to take the crayons out, I would be like, oh, you stay in the box. And they stayed in the box. And it wasn't until recently that we've had problems keeping our crayons and markers where they're supposed to be. But she's pushing the boundaries. I know that's what she's supposed to do. Okay. Sorry about that. I went off on a little rant. I'm just letting you know that your kid, it doesn't matter how old your kid is, they're probably not too young to color. They're not too young to look at a book. Okay. Drives me crazy when I'm like, oh, whenever I tell people that I, you know, I work with books and they're like, oh, my kid's too young for books. And I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure they're not. <laughs> uh, there are these things called board books. Great, great starters. If you start your kid with board books whenever they're like first picking things up and putting them in their mouth and stuff like that. By the time they're three, they're ready for picture books and they can turn the pages on their own. So keep that in mind. All right. Um, now I'm going to show you this big old workbook that I found at Target. And then, uh, you know what I did? I went on and I looked at the rest of their books and I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. Um, so these are Scholastic books. and. Um, this one is getting ready for pre-K and it's a white plain book. And I'm sorry that there's a glare, but if the light's not on, then it looks really fuzzy. So, um, it, my favorite part is it has this whole dear parent thing in the front. Read the dear parents before you give something to your kid. If it has a dear parent in it, read it because, uh, you need to be educated too. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's important. It wouldn't be there if it wasn't. Um, it comes with a little bitty marker that's perfect for little bitty hands. And if this marker ever dies, go get some wipe clean. Go get some dry erase markers, Expo markers, whatever. My kid's been using um, Expo markers since... She was like one and a half because we have a bunch of white clean books. Uh, I love those things because you can just clean them off and let her play with them again later. Um, so I like that you can fold it over and then just use it like this. And again, we're going to be doing one or two pages of this a day. My goal is to have a little education time in the morning and a little education time in the afternoon. Not long. She's only three. So like, like I said, one work page or two work pages in the morning, one or two work pages in the afternoon. That way it's not too much stress. And, um, yeah. So what I like about this, the reason I picked this up and I did think about getting the older kid book, was we're talk we're talking about the number one and it shows you how to do the shows you how to do the number one it doesn't just have it on there once i mean she knows how to draw the number one i'm not <laughs> she knows how to do a lion a lion um but you can also you know go into further things like Ooh, a car. What color's the car? Blah, blah, blah. Um, but it also has letters. And you. this could be a talking point. Oh, a turtle. Uh, do you want to learn about other turtles? And then you can go and get a book about turtles. Or you can Google turtles and sh talk about the different types of turtles there are. You know, if your kid is above this age level. Um, insects Ugh, hate insects uh jumping and then we got shapes and again there's more than just one circle to trace there's like there's three and then you get to circle the circles there's another one and then you get to spell circle oh, this just makes me so happy come on it still has the marker in it so it's not wanting to 
and colors. This one's cool. You get to check off this stuff that's yellow. I like that they're not all the same. Like, it's not like all of them's like, oh, circle the items that are green. Like, circle the items that are blue. It doesn't have that for all of them. They also have, you know, check marks. Um, draw a line through the things that aren't purple. Um, ooh! And then there's a, a matching. There's a matching game. Draw a line to the stuff that's the same color and then also in the back here you get to you get to chart your kids work i love that so that you know you'd be like oh did we do this today we got it you know gotta put our smiley face gotta get our star um because kids seem to work better when they get a reward um just what I've noticed. <laughs> okay, so that is all of the books that I got on Friday. And I will leave a link for all of the ones that I can in the description. And um, what is your favorite go-to little workbook for your kid? I know I have a lot of Paper Pie, Usborne, Kane Miller stuff that I can use for her. Um, there are some websites that I use. Maybe I could do a video on that another time. Um, but yeah. And there are people that are wa like watch my videos and they're like, you never let your kid be a kid. She chooses this stuff. Most of the time. Like I will put a coloring page, a coloring book in front of her or one of these in front of her and she chooses these. My kid likes learning stuff. She loves the ABCs. That was the other thing. Um, I'm not going to take them off the wall. From Dollar Tree, I got um, a bunch of like learning posters and one of them is like ABCs, like border banner thingy. And um, I put it all around her ball pit. I don't know if you've seen the video, but there's a, I have the, one of the gigantic ball pits. And then I put up, there was a color poster and a shape poster. And I didn't put them all together. I put, I put them randomly around the house. And um, she came out and she saw them and she squealed and she was so excited. And she calls the um, ABCs her, her alpha word. <laughs> Mama. Mama, you put up my alpha word. My alpha words. Uh, it was it was so cute. And then she kept running over to the other two posters. Do you do you see do you see the square? Do, do you see the oval? Do you see the color red? She was so excited. Um, I'm telling you. That's my kid. Uh, she got. A Minnie Mouse doll for her birthday. She likes she likes Minnie Mouse, but it was like she was like, oh, she like she'll hold it sometimes while she's watching something or playing something, but most of the time she's just like she'll just pick it up just to move it. She has an Elsa doll because she went through the Frozen stage. She doesn't really play with it. Occasionally, I'll find it on the floor, but I think it's just because she moved it out of the way. She has an Ada Twist doll. I got her the Ada Twist doll because she was obsessed with Ada Twist. Ada Twist is a good thing. I'm not going to lie. Um, but very educational. And talks about how you can work through things when you're stuck. Uh, some adults need this Ada, Ada Twist, I'm just saying. Um, and she, she likes it, but she doesn't play with it. Like, occasionally she'll go over and she'll, like, move her and she'll like push the button that makes the song happen yeah she just wants the educational toys <laughs> she likes the drawing board she likes the mag the, the you know the board that has like the, the magnetic thingy and you slide it across to erase and she likes that she likes the 
the book that also does Chinese, does English and Chinese. Uh, I we need a Spanish one. Um, I know some Spanish. I don't know Chinese. <laughs> she'll occasionally she'll say something, and I'm like, "Was that English?" And she's like, <laughs> and then she'll say whatever it is that she was saying in English. I'm like, "Okay, yeah, we we can do that." Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, don't forget that if you don't like to watch my videos at 35 minute long videos because you don't care about all of my crazy stuff that I talk about in between when I'm showing, I am now doing something called snippets. Um, I have a whole little playlist for it. And uh, so I take the videos that are super long like this one and then I cut it down into segments of just showing whatever I'm showing. And um, it just cuts out most of the extra stuff. So they're like five minutes long. Um, just in case you don't watch my whole videos and you just skim through and you just see this part. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to go finish my tea and clean up my kitchen. We went to the library this morning, so I'd out. Ow. New brew. I didn't do any cleaning this morning. All right. Thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share. Sharing is caring. And books are important. So don't forget to tell me what your favorite learning books are in the comment section. Or if you saw one of these and you want more information, you can comment below or go to the link in the description. All right. I will see you all on my next video.